I'm going to show you how you can use the DC GPO fix command to reset the default domain policy GPO and the default domain controller policy GPO back to their default settings. So if we open up our group policy management and then navigate to our default domain policy and our default domain controllers policy, if we come to the settings, we can see that there have been additional settings changed in this group policy and it is no longer the default domain policy that was shipped with the Active Directory domain. So what I want to do is revert all of these changes so it is back to the default policy. Now before we make any changes to this, what we'll do is we'll make a quick backup of the existing policies so that if we do need to reference any of the old settings or restore them, we can do that quite easily. So if we just either use the backup option from within the group policy management, or we can just simply copy the GPO and then right click the group policy objects and press paste and then preserve the existing permissions. And if we do that for both the default domain controllers policy and the default domain policy, we can just paste it, preserve the permissions. And then we've essentially just got a snapshot of the policy as it exists right now. And then if we right click it and go to GPO status and then all settings disabled, we can just disable these policies. So we've got a reference and a backup if we need to check what they were before we've done the reset. Now what I would recommend doing is before you run this reset command is just going through both of these policies or whatever one you're going to reset and making sure if there are any additional changes within the policy that they are either no longer needed or you migrate them to a new group policy object. So once you've confirmed that they can actually be reset, what you want to do is open up a PowerShell window and then we can run the following command. So the command we want to run is DC GPO fix and then we want to do slash ignore schema. This ignores the version of the Active Directory schema when you run the command. Otherwise the command only works on the same schema version as the Windows version in which the command was shipped. So if you do slash ignore schema, it will ignore any errors and then we can do slash target and then target the domain, which will target the default domain policy, GPO. So if we run this command, it will say you're about to restore the default domain policy for the following domain. Do you want to continue? And then we can just do Y, and it will say it will replace all of the user rights assignments, which is okay, and we can press Y. And then now the default domain policy was restored successfully. So if we come back to our group policy editor, and then select our default domain policy, and then give it a refresh. We can see all of the old group policy settings have been removed and it is back to the default policy that is shipped by Microsoft. Now, if we want to do the default domain controllers policy as well, what we can do is run the same command, but change the target from the domain to the DC. And if we run that, it will tell us we're about to restore the default domain controllers policy. And again, we can press Y for yes. The operation will also replace the user rights assignments. We can press yes. And then the default domain controller policy was successfully restored. Again, if we come back to our group policy management, select our default domain controllers policy, and then refresh, all of the additional settings will have gone, and it is back to the default state. Now we do have the copy of the original settings that we had before we done the reset. So if this does cause any issues, or there are some settings that you missed, you can come back and reference them in the original policies. So that is a guide on how to use the DCGPO fix command to reset the default domain group policy objects back to their default settings.